previously on Dark Matter. We all woke up just like you. No idea who we are or how we got here. You said someone was responsible for wiping our memories. No, not me. It, it was someone else. It's like I'm remembering it for them. I might be able to adapt some of the medical equipment to work as a kind of mind probe. And whose mind would we be probing? Mine. So who the hell is Miss Maplethorpe anyway? Yeah, she was a teacher I had when I was a kid. It's as good a code as any. I can come back. No, it's okay. Uh, what do you want? <clears throat> uh, status report. What's your status? Um, I'm fine, thanks, but I was talking about the ship. What about it? Well, um, apparently all the systems are operating below optimal levels. The android's on top of it. Also, our food stores are down to four days and our water levels have dropped. I do love my long showers. Um, she's working on shoring up the recycling system. I told her if it means drinking other people's urine, then I'd rather die of dehydration. You're fine with drinking urine, though. Gotta draw the line somewhere. Look, the, uh, the bottom line is she's doing the best she can, but this bucket needs more work than one android can handle. Yeah. You can turn around now. Anything else? Uh, yeah, we have a damaged relationship. Do we? If it gets any worse, we're gonna have to shut it down. A damaged relationship? Relay switch. I said relay switch. No, you didn't. I think you heard me wrong. There's a relay switch on the lower level that's been Look, acting. the ship is in a state of disrepair and we can't afford to fix it. There's no news there. Why don't we just be honest with each other? You're not here to give me a status report. Why do you think I'm here? To get a status report. What makes you say that? Uh, all right, yes. You and three have been acting pretty distant towards each other lately. And if you want my opinion, you can do better than him. He has at least one redeeming quality. I think it's just easy for you not to get emotionally attached. What makes you say that? Because I can't imagine anyone getting emotionally attached to him. Oh. You think I couldn't help myself with you because you were so hopelessly irresistible? I didn't. I'm didn't not. I... Status is. It's over. You and three? What happened? He didn't like all the names I was calling him during sex. Is that what this is about? What? You flirting with me. For your information, if I was flirting with you, I would be taking my clothes off, not putting them on. What are you doing? What? Well, I thought... You thought wrong. But if... No, it's complicated. Right. And also, that... Don't stop on my account. Did you need anything? Five figured out the code to the mystery room. You're kidding. I, we're about to open it. But if you two have something better to do... No. I think that's as open as they're gonna get. Why is everything on this ship so much work? Claire. The panel appears to be malfunctioning. Of course it is. Give me a moment. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. I'm gonna call you Raquel. All these are locked. Huh? Just stand aside. See if I can't fix that. Hey, don't be stupid. You don't know what's in there. Could be packed with explosives. You know, anyone else wondering why you need to lock a box that's inside a locked room? Could be something that we stole that we just hadn't gotten around to opening yet. Hey, anybody know what this is? Whoa, whoa. Hey. What? I suggest you be careful not to activate it. Oh. <laughs> well, I know what this is. We are rich. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, guys? Alive. The pod's hooked up to the ship's power, but there's no data link. That would explain why this chamber never showed up on any of her system scans. But what is she doing in here? You think she's got her memories? Let's thaw her. Find out. We sure we want to do that? She's obviously in here for a reason. Any dreams or visions that would explain this? No. Let's thaw her and find out. I said that like five seconds ago. Yeah, but coming from her, it actually sounds reasonable. You're welcome. How come she's not waking up? She's been in stasis for a long time. I have her sedated until I can fully evaluate her physical condition. And? She has Deterrence disease. It's a disorder common on planets where they mine ceruleum, a result of the runoff from refineries leaching into the water supply. In its advanced state, it causes a rapid decline in specific neurological motor function related to autonomic life support. There's no known cure. Well, wait, so she's dying? Without question. It's probably why she was in the pod in the first place. To halt the progress of the disease. If we keep her out, how long does she have? It's impossible to say. It could be a matter of days. We've got to put her back in there. You're the one that wanted to take her out in the first place. This is different. We should put her back in. Hey, we need to find out what she knows. sister? <laughs> A service bot? Entertainment model. Disassembled, but in good condition. Well proportioned. Whoa! I'll say. She's got a wide range of capabilities. Magic tricks. Twirling. Contortion. I'm preparing to awaken the woman we found in stasis. Okay. On my way. Go ahead. Bring the bot online. I'm sure she's got a great personality to go with that body. It's amazing how the skin fuses so you can't even see the seams. It says her programming is standard issue for an entertainment model. I don't think she's going to be much help with repairs or anything like that. Well, she can learn, can't she? And anyway, there's lots she can do in the meantime. Just turn her on. I mean, activate her. Hello. My name is Wendy. Would you like to run a full demonstration of my capabilities? Uh, no, that's a, uh, right. We, um, we read the manual, uh, Wendy. Why does she talk like that? Um, the factory default is set to something called Aussie. Oh, cool. What can I do for you? I can sing you a song. I'm programmed in multiple popular musical styles. Dubstep, 
Tropical house, classical. Uh, no, thanks. That's, um, that's fine. Perhaps you'd like to take advantage of my advanced culinary programming. We don't have much to work with. Our rations are kind of low. Not to worry. I'll extend the rations by double and make them taste better than you can ever imagine. Show me the kitchen. You were in stasis. Now you're safe on board our ship. Who are you? You can call me too. I was about to ask you the same thing. Uh, my name is Sarah. Do you remember how you got here? Marcus? <sighs> Thank God you're here. tell you this, but, um... What's wrong? We had an accident with our stasis pods. In a way, you're lucky that you weren't stored with us because we all lost our memories. None of us can remember anything from before a couple of weeks ago. Are you serious? You really don't remember me? I'm sorry. I, believe me, I wish I did, but I... Then why did you revive me? We thought that maybe you would have some answers for us. I don't know you. Or you. I've never seen this ship before. The last thing I remember was Marcus putting me in stasis on my home world. Telling me everything would be all right. This looks amazing. I can get used to this. Mm. I've utilized less than 2% of current rations for the creation of this meal. Mm. Oh, wow. This is even better than I expected. Yeah. I'm glad. Mm. You'll be happy to know that I've improved the efficiency of the coolant systems by 11%. Mm. Mm. Way to go. Wendy increased the taste of our food by 100%. Mm. I see. You should also know that if I hadn't affected the repairs, the system would have shut down completely in a matter of days, crippling the ship. Good catch. Wow. Mm. Wow. Shall I prepare the next course? There's the next course? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you know about Marcus? I I know what he what he was, what he is. It didn't it doesn't matter. On my world, anyone who stood up to the corporations was an outlaw. How did you meet? It was the end of a terrible winter. I was out early one morning gathering firewood. I found him lying in the forest near my farm. At first, I thought he was dead. I managed to get him back to my house and dress his wounds. Later, he told me he was a mercenary for hire, that he'd been wounded on a mission and the others he was with had left him behind. Did he say who they were? No. And were you alone when you found him? Yeah, I had been living on my own for over a year after my husband died in the uprising. He was a minor. The uprising. We knew people were getting sick, but the Ferris doctors told us everything was fine. Then people started dying. That's when the rebellion started. But we didn't stand a chance. D did three ever, um, t Marcus? Did Marcus ever tell you what he was doing on your planet? He'd said that he was hired by a rival corporation to hijack a shipment of ceruleum. The mission did not go as planned. Several of his crew were killed, and when he didn't make it back to the rendezvous point, they probably assumed he was dead. So you saved his life? And he saved mine. At least I 
least for a while. Hey, you missed quite the meal. I don't eat for pleasure. Right. Anyway, I wanted to introduce you to Wendy. I'm pleased to meet you. If there's ever anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. I don't require entertainment. Well, you do require a massage. Why do you say that? Your left shoulder sits two millimeters below your right, possibly indicating tension in your right supraspinatus or lats. It could affect your overall precision and technique. Well, it feels fine to me. Turn around. She's not gonna hurt you. Is that better? Um, it feels the same, no difference. Shall I stop? No. Easy, Tiger. There you are. Don't start. Did you finish that thing you needed to do? Don't start. Hey, you have to talk to her. What am I supposed to say, huh? I don't know, but it's obvious there's something between the two of you. Or at least there was. Yeah, but I don't remember. So what's the point? Look, against all imaginable odds, it turns out that somebody in this galaxy doesn't think you're a total jerk. She's alone in that room, and she's scared out of her mind, and apparently you're the one who brought her on this ship. What are you going to do about it? Hi there. Hi. Uh, listen, I'm sorry about before. I guess this whole thing's just got me a little weirded out, that's all. Yeah, mm, me too. You, uh, do you wanna go for a walk or something? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'd like that. <laughs> I, I didn't realize you were there. What would you like to do now? Uh, I'm programmed with various recreational subroutines. Do you like fun? Uh, I, I guess. What kind of fun would you like to have? We could dance? <laughs> play a game? Um, no, thank you. Um, I was actually about to lie down. Excellent. Would you like me to join? I'm adept at a wide variety of contemporary erotic techniques. Quasaring, the infinite Mobius, dunking the cosmic donut. That's, I really shouldn't. Um, wait, what was that last one? Uh, on the other hand, if you prefer male anatomy, I come with interchangeable parts. No, 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 um, I appreciate the offer, but I, um, it's just a little weird. What's weird about it? Sexuality is a natural human function. Sure. What would you get out of it? I possess almost 3,000 touch receptors. I can experience pleasure. I sense anxiety. If you like, I could turn off my performance analytics before we begin. Look, I appreciate the offer. I just don't think I'd feel right or... On the other hand, there's only one way to find out. Really? She's not complicated.
though. You look to be in a right smashing good mood. You'll be chuffed to hear I've found a way to convert the engine's residual byproducts into a nutritious, protein-rich meal supplement. Why are you talking like that? Oh, you've noticed? It just so happens that I, too, can program with several unique linguistic varieties. There are over two dozen accents to choose from. You can select one, or we can go with a daily rotation. I, I, um, I don't... Don't worry about it, man. You don't have to decide right this second. There's over two dozen. No, just, no. Maybe we could talk about it a little bit later then. Sweet home. God, I'm sorry about that. Let me just move these. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know the kind of world you live in. Yeah, but there's nowhere to sit, so... But you have to believe me. There was a time when we were together that you were different. <laughs> Dinner's ready. mistake. I don't think so. No. Yes, yeah, Sarah, you don't know who I am. I'm not the guy who stays. I'm the guy who leaves. You don't have to be. Sarah. That was the first sign that there was something wrong with me. Sarah, look at me. What's wrong? After that, I was nothing but a burden. You could have left at any time, but... You didn't. You stayed. Maybe I felt guilty. Well, that might have kept you for maybe a day or two, but... Not for months. Not for a whole winter. Feeding me care of me. I, I gotta be honest with you, that doesn't sound anything like me. Look, you may not know it, but I do. You are a good man. <laughs> what you doing? I'm going through the medical database. Looking for any new information on deterrence disease. You find anything useful? Not yet. You're doing something new with your hair. Yeah, Wendy did it for me. Do you like it? I don't believe there was anything wrong with the way it was before. You don't like her much, do you? I don't have an opinion either way. I just think there are more relevant functions she could be performing besides cooking and playing games. Stress can cause humans to act inefficient. Relieving stress can be a lot like recharging batteries. Laughter is the best medicine. Something like that. I'm not programmed for humor. 
Well, just because people are having a little fun with Wendy, it doesn't mean we don't appreciate what you do. I mean, I don't think we could get by without you. According to my self-diagnostics, my performance is satisfactory in every way that my programming dictates. Well, now, don't go getting a big head or anything. My head is always a consistent size. See who says you're not funny. Look, Wendy is new here, and she's just trying to fit in. I know what that feels like. And I think if you gave her a chance, you'd really like her. What are you doing? I have tidied the room and I'm now attempting to learn the ship system so I can be more helpful. Is there anything I can do for you? No, I'm good. I could tell you what most pleases one, sexually. What makes you think I would want to know that? Your body temperature rises 0.25 degrees whenever you're around him. Also, blood flow to your cheeks increases, so indicating... Okay, that's enough. Where is one, anyways? I think he's in the mess hall. I made him something special. What happened? I don't know. She just collapsed. She's breathing, but I can't wake her. Can you help her? No, I don't know what to do. Where's the android? She went to the bridge to run a diagnostic. Okay. Android, what are you doing in the infirmary? I'm on my way. Hello. Hello. I'd like to inform you that your presence no longer offends me. As a new member of this ship's extended crew, it must be difficult to fit in, especially in that outfit. And I've been less than welcoming. I regret my actions, that I can only attribute to a flaw in my programming. I misjudged you, and I'm sorry. Apology not accepted. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Even he's on board. Her soup is on. Um, very good. It's weird. We're locked in. We just dropped out of FTL. Android, this is two. We got a problem. One, four, six, and I are locked in the mess. Android, do you read? Crew of the Raza, this is Cyrus King. I'm sure you're surprised to be hearing my voice. You probably thought I was dead. Maybe if you remembered who you were. I arranged for you to acquire this service android, knowing that when you activated it, I would finally get my revenge. You killed everyone in my unit. Burned them all alive. You probably deserved it. Now you're going to suffer the same fate. Your ship has been directed to fly into the nearest star. Here's hoping your last moments will be as tortured and painful as possible. Come with me. Do you read me? Yeah, go ahead. Our android's offline and we're trapped in the mess. Is Five with you? Yeah. Good. Tell her to stay put. I 
need you to get to the port side sub-level power relay. You can shut down the engines from there. It'll buy us some time. Slow our progress toward the stars so we can figure a way out of this. But, but you don't know how to... Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand. Three out. Get it gone. I don't get it. She knows you don't know how to do that. Yeah, but Wendy doesn't know. She's monitoring comms. So you're the bait. Exactly. Once Wendy leaves the bridge, I need you to get in there, find a way to work around whatever it is she's done. I'll distract her. That's gonna take some time. I'll give you what I can, kid. Go. Hey. What's going on? I had a little technical problem with the ship. It's gonna be okay, we're gonna fix it. Your condition's gotten worse, so we're gonna put you back in stasis. No, 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 I promise I will not rest until I've done everything I can to save you. Okay. Okay. I guess a little rest every now and then isn't such a bad thing. No. I wish... That I remembered. No. It's okay. We'll make new memories. I'll see you soon, okay? Yeah. Promise. I promise. Okay. the nav system she's locked me out i'm trying to find a workaround yeah we'll get to that in a minute for now see if you can access non-essential systems switch all doors to manual i'm on it i've got it good girl
down under your programming. Fun, remember? Fun? Yeah. I don't remember fun. No? I just remember cooking and cleaning and dunking the cosmic donut. Oh, wait! What, what was that last one? Donut! Oh. I thought you were designed to serve, not kill. I find your view on female androids both antiquated and offensive. You okay? Never better, why you ask? Two, this is six. We've taken care of the robot. Yeah, well, I wish that was the worst of our problems. We're locked out of navigation and we're still headed straight for that star. There's no way to change course. She put an encrypted passcode on the ship's main control systems. It could take hours to solve it. What? We don't have that kind of time! This is two. Is Wendy's head damaged? It's detached, but it looks okay. Good. Bring it to the bridge and be quick. In the meantime, space her body. is dying all over the ship. How are we gonna find the code and all that? There's a log that's recorded on a timeline. She has to have set the passcode sometime within the last hour. Yeah, we'll work on manual. I'll have to reset. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we got a problem here. Wendy's body just came alive. Powered the head. It must have activated the body remotely. That's no big deal. Robot can't see without her head. Scratch that. She can see us just fine. How is that possible? It's the link. She's tied into the ship's internal sensors. We gotta pull the plug. Not yet. I don't have the code. Any time now. Only good. We've got to have control. Cover. Uh, yeah, all right. I hate robots. How long do you think it'll take for her to fully regenerate? Depends on how extensive the damage is. We'll have to wait and see. must have been damaged by the power fluctuations. Without stasis, the disease ran its course. It's my fault. It was my idea to activate the robot. It was stupid. Did you program that thing to attack us? No. Did you give Sarah an incurable disease? No. Then what do 
are we talking about? Is this a bad time for a status update? Can I wait? It's gonna take us some time to sort through all the items we found in the mystery room. Some are locked and inaccessible for now, but uh, we've got enough funds to effect full repairs, restock, and even have enough left over for a few luxury items. Great. Maybe another robot. One of those entertainment models. A less buggy version. No thanks. Leighton Killer sub program aside, she was a damn good cook. And I imagine she had other worthy skills. Look, I don't know what I was thinking. I have a pretty good idea. Well, as it turns out, I was wrong. It was complicated. I've been thinking. Maybe complicated isn't such a bad thing.